Hi, welcome to Grace Point. We are so glad you're here with us today. Check out this week's announcements. You know what it's like to have good problems? Last Christmas Eve, we had a good problem. We had so many people show up at our first service that they actually came and left without being able to participate. So this year, we're going to do three candlelight services, one on the 23rd at 7 o'clock and the other two at 7 and 9 on Christmas Eve. And I know some of you are wondering about doing it on the 23rd. Actually, I think it's a great opportunity. I know many have had to be with family and friends and other commitments. This is an opportunity to bring your family and friends with you to a candlelight service on Friday night. So I'm looking forward to seeing you there and we're going to have a great time as we celebrate the birth of our Lord. Hey Jim, you know we've had our directory booth set up for a while now in the lobby and Pastor Paul would really like us to get all the pictures in before Christmas. Yeah, he gave me directions that if we can't get a picture from you that we should just do some Facebook stalking and take a picture from there, which may not turn out so well for some of you. Well, what about all the people that don't have Facebook? Well, for those of you that don't have Facebook, you might end up with a picture like this. Oh, don't be that guy. So help us out, get your picture taken so we can get the directory wrapped up. Next Sunday, our kids get to do a kids only shop during third service. And it's a time for them to shop for new or gently used things that we um, are welcoming any of you to bring to the Christian Life Center this week. So our kiddos can engage in this holiday season and have a lot of fun doing so. I'm thrilled to be a part of a church where teenagers are engaged. Here's a brief report on their 30 hour famine. Actually, they raised a little over $4,000, which will enable World Vision to feed 10 kids over the next year. Also, those who are interested in the teen mission trip scheduled for next July, there's an information packet available at the table in the lobby. And also an informational meeting will take place on the 8th of January. Looking forward to watching God continue to work in our youth group. It only comes around once every five or six years when Christmas Day falls on Sunday. It's one of my favorite experiences. We're gonna have a grand Jesus birthday party, one service, everybody gets together at 10 o'clock. Don't miss the celebration.